One, two, three. Hey, what's up? up there? Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wilson for Wilson's Gaming. Today, we're playing The Beast Inside. Let me show you The Beast Inside. Once again, we're playing. This is part two, and we are on chapter three of this marvelous horror game. You might have seen some scares last episode. So it says, chapter three, my parents' old house where Emma and I decided to move. ...hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal. From one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know what the chilling passages describe. Real-life events. What if they are just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person? So here we go. Let's play. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Alright, so let's go find Emma. She was downstairs last time, right? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? This... There's something wrong with that woman. We better get that done quickly, or uh, we ain't. What's her problem? Yeah. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. It's not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. Sick. <laughs> huh. Where are the fuses? I'm confused. Ha <laughs> ha. I gotta say, this game really does contrast and darkness very well. I, I like how it's. Yeah. Is this the fuse box? Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay. So here's the shed. Shed happens. Now, what can we find in here? Why is there blood in here? Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What the f... Well, dude, I mean, there was blood on the floor. You didn't see that guy? Where did all the blood come from? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? A localizer manual. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author knew what he was writing about. A quantum localizer. That allows an in depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so called quantum tracers, enabled the users to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a given fragment of the space time continuum has left behind detectable clusters of rays and particles equipped with two ultra sensitive sensors the device can detect both electromagnetic and quantum traces. Excellent. Think we should use that right now? Whoa! Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Fucking name. Dude. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Oh shit. Come on, don't scare me, man. Come on, not right now. Oh. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. Weird. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Is 
What's that sound? Oh, my thing here. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. This I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. It must have went up from here. Throwing objects? Okay. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Oh yeah, this is the smartest thing to do, I guess, to follow a blood trail. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. Who is he? What did he hide here? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Oh dear. Probably a bomb. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Equipment. And why was it in? Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house, in our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Put that fuse in, righty tighty. The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Boom! <laughs> Jesus, woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Oh. 
If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh, gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. I need more paint. Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Sure. Oh, it's a window that's behind there. Ha ha ha. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Ah, right here. Hello? Like some pizza. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. Ah, still warm. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. So, how do I do it again? First... Okay, the first part's done. Now I just have to set the right numbers using the knobs. Piece of cake. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Still nothing. Fuck. This terrible crime shocked fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. God, how long has this been here? Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost...